Hi, I'm Miss Huffman. And I'm Miss B. Welcome to Two, Two Teachers, Teachers, a place where we can read and learn together. together. Like and subscribe. Hello, kindergartners. I'm glad you're here today. Today, we will read a book called Talk and Work It Out. This story is shared with us from a kindergartner named Kat Jones in Ms. Huffman's class. Thank you, Kat, for sharing this story, Talk and Work It Out, with all of kindergarten so that we can read and learn how to talk and work it out ourselves. Let's begin reading the book. As we read, I want you to think about if you have ever felt this way before, too. I know sometimes we all feel angry or frustrated, but one thing that's important to learn is that we can talk and work it out. Talk and work it out. Written by Sherry J. Miners. Illustrated by Meredith Johnson. Learning to get along with lots of people. Sometimes I don't agree with a person. It's okay to have different ideas. Have you ever thought that way before? Maybe you don't agree with a person or maybe you had a different idea. How that make you feel? Mm, I wonder if that's how this character feels now. But if something really bothers me, I can choose to work things out. I can stop and take a big breath to calm myself. I can take time to think about what to do. What would you do? I may want to talk about the problem. I can look at the person and speak up when I tell how I feel. I notice this classroom has a poster on the wall. Let's read the poster. It's entitled, Talk It Out. Step one, talk about the problem. Step two, listen to understand. Step three, Think of ways to solve it. Step four, choose the best plan. I can listen and think about how the other person feels. I learn more about the problem when I listen to another view. I can say back what I hear. This shows that I understand and care. As we talk about the problem, I can be polite and friendly. It feels good to be heard and to understand things better. I can use my imagination to help solve the problem. I can think of lots of ideas. Here's a thought bubble. Let's see what he's thinking and imagining. Here you go. I wonder how they solve the problem there. You can use it first. It's another way to solve the problem. And I can ask the person to help find an answer. What do you think? If I still need help, I can ask a grown up. Look at this thought bubble. Can you tell? I don't think they solved the problem themselves. They needed to ask a grown up for help. I can think about each idea. What might happen? Will we both be happy? I 
I can help choose a plan that's good for both of us. I can cooperate to make things work. I might share, or take turns, or do something nice. Let's go play. Sometimes it's hard to find an answer everyone likes. I can still show respect. I'm learning to solve my problems peacefully. Getting along can be more important than getting everything I want. If I care about someone else's ideas and feelings as much as my own, I can usually find a way to work things out. And then at the back, it gives you some examples and ways that you can solve the problem. We'll do that together in the next step. I hope today that you are able to think about how the characters in the story feels, and maybe if you have ever felt that way or had similar problems. Thanks again, Kat, for sharing this story. Talk and work it out. I hope that we are able to think about ways that we can talk and work out our problems in the future. <laughs>